Hi guys, uh, this is Vishal here from RepCode. So in this video, we will understand how to create a very simple login sign up flow. So basically person should be able to create an account and person should be able to log in. That's all what we want to achieve. Okay. With just one role. Okay. So I'll go to my plugins and go to login sign up plugin. This is here. So it is asking me what all fields I want my user to have when they are creating an account. So I'd say first name, last name, gender address I'll leave. So email and password are needed. Roles is needed. Okay, username are optional. So uh, username could be like a Twitter handle or a GitHub handle, okay, which uniquely identifies a user, which is other than email. Okay. Only verified user can be able to log in. Only active user should be able to log in. So I'll just leave all these as default and I'll install plugin. So login sign up plugin is installed. Once you reload the project, you will see that it has created a collections. Okay, it has created a collection called role and a user. So if I go to my role, I say it has created a, a default role which is a user role. If I go to user, I think no user has been created. That's fine. So now if you go to the pages, you see it has created a couple of pages. Login page, change password, reset password, forgot password, sign up and dashboard. So either you can reuse the same pages or you can create on your own if you want, right? So let's implement a basic login sign up flow from scratch. So I will not use the pages which are already there. I will just uh, delete these pages and create my own. Okay. So I will delete this login page. You, you can use these pages. So th this option since I wanted to cover from scratch, since I am deleting all these. Right. So dashboard is here. Don't need all these things. Okay, so let's first create a, a sign up page. Okay, so I'll say I add a page. Sign up. That's all. The page is here. So now let's let's design this page. So I'll put a nav bar. So sign up. Put a two section layout. Oh, let's say two columns. Okay. And I need a sign up form here, All right? So what I do, I go to my forms and look for this sign up form. Can you see the sign up form? Just go and drop it here. That's all. It is asking me another event. So let's create an event. Okay. So this is the default event created by sign up plugin, but I don't want to use it. So I'll create my own event. Okay. So I'll go to the event and I'll create an event. Sign up event two. Okay. So what I want to do as soon as someone submit the form, just create a new user. Okay, so I I go to this login sign up and say sign up user, right? So just sign there up. I will I will not go to and create save data because there is a difference between saving a regular collection and saving a user which is uh, login in right. The thing is that the password needs to be encoded right. So if it's just save data it will save the password as it is then people not will not be able to log in. So the good thing is go to sign up user we have, we have, we have already handled how to assign role to the user and how to encode the password right. So role, I'll say assign them the user role. So that's the only role by which we have. So sign up success. And we will do sign up. So this is one. In maybe after sign up, I want to redirect them to a home page. Or a landing page which we have created. That's also user will get created and they will be redirected to the landing page. Similarly way, let's build a login page. Login to. We created a login page. Similarly, here we want to display a login form. Okay, so I go to my components, drop a two section layout. And here, 
in the components i'll go to my components and drop a login form do you see this login form it's here it is asking me event so we will create an event and then we'll bind the event okay so i'll remove these buttons which i don't need okay remove okay now let's create a login event login event 2 here as soon as this form gets submitted i'll say login user that's all it is asking me that for which role where you want to take so i'll say when the role is user take them to the dashboard and success method that login this is optional but yeah just so that you don't know what has actually happened so that's it we have created a sign up event and we have created a login event let's go and bind it to to the respective forms in the sign up form i'll bind this sign up to event in the login form and bind this login to event login to event now let's go and see how this looks like so first of all let's go and sign up as a user so these are the fields which we have coming from the user if you go to the collections as of now there is no user so let's sign up i will say we shall user email.com password okay so now what it will do it will create a user and take me to the landing page so it is sign up user it has saved the data, shown me the message, and directed me to the landing page. So this is our default landing page. Now if I go to my collection and refresh this, I can see one user created. Now let's log in from this user. So now I'll go to my login page. So this is my login page. With the email which I have signed up the password and login so what will do it will just log me in and take me to the dashboard so now we are here on the dashboard so this basically covers a very basic setup how you implement a login and sign up if you have multiple roles you can create multiple handling on the basis of which role where you want to take users on which form what your role you want to assign so you can handle uh, like different different roles different different behavior on the basis of logging and sign up hope this is clear now see you again in the next video thanks for watching bye bye